What is up, my podcast listeners? This is your lovely host, Profound Majeshevsky, coming to you from my bedroom. Um, well, one of the bedrooms in my house. Um, I totally fucked up and did not, you know, record in my car like I usually do, and now it's the evening and I need to, you know, get this done for you guys because... I'm one of those people that when I fall out of habits, which is funny that I brought that up just now because that's going to be the topic of our show, um, I'm a creature of habit and when I don't do my usual things like on Wednesdays when I pop my camera on and start talking to you guys and rambling about random shit, I feel off, feel like I can't function, so here we are. But the nice thing that I get to do, the fact that I'm home and I have my laptop right beside me, I also have this lovely microphone that I barely use. And, you know, why not? I plugged it in. We're going to have better audio quality. Um, but now I can do some shout outs because I haven't done this in probably like months. So I'm sorry. Um, where are we? Where are we? Number one city listening to my show right now and within the last 24 hours i've had 102 listens from this city the lovely city of dublin in ireland shout out to everyone in ireland specifically in dublin listening to my show super cool and i've brought this up on my show a couple times because you guys have popped up on my top five um this was probably four years ago i got to do like 20 hours in Dublin to see that city as fast as possible and it honestly was one of the most ex like amazing experiences I've ever had would love to go back uh, number two all the way on the UK the city of Edinburgh shout out to everyone in Edinburgh listening to my show and just shout out in general to all my listeners across the world that's so cool and number three Houston, Texas, shout out to everyone in Houston listening to my show. That is so freaking awesome. That is so cool that I have so many different people all around the world listening to my show, not only just in Canada and the States, but like international. That is so cool. Um, so I kind of spilled the beans already on what the topic's going to be, but we're going to get into um, habits because I've probably done several episodes on you know habit-based nutrition but what I want to talk to you today about is bad habits so 2020 definitely disrupted a lot of people's lives and has probably introduced some bad habits and now you're at a point of you know no return and you're just like I now can eat a bag of chips every night. I drink beer every single day. I don't even work out anymore. I, you know, the list can go on, right? This whole COVID thing literally like put you in a dumpster, lit it on fire, shook you, and then pushed you, like threw you out right after. And now you just have to deal with that. <laughs> That's probably the best way to describe it and probably on the way like someone kicked you in the face a couple times and throat punched you and things like that and I think I said that before on my show but um, the thing that I want to get to is that with all these bad habits that popped up to make this more tangible and like you leaving with something to work on is I actually want you to physically take out a piece of paper and a pen pencil whatever you have and write down all the bad habits that you actually picked up um since this whole COVID thing started and I want you to like really brainstorm and like really create that self-awareness which I brought up a million times on my show like write down every little piece little thing that pops into your head like set a timer for like 10 minutes and then just start writing see what you get after the 10 minutes is done, I want you to categorize each one of like, is this a physical bad habit? Is this a mental bad habit? Because that's a whole nother thing. Like, 
you could write down that you've started talking really negatively about yourself or you started having huge doubts about you know what you're gonna do in the future or what you're gonna do with your life like there should be a category for like a mental section so maybe what you know bad habits that you can throw into um, is you know a physical one a mental one an emotional one spiritual one and even a financial one because who knows like I've done this a bunch of times where during COVID just to like get me through some tough times I'm like I'm just gonna go buy shit so I can feel better primarily go to the Disney store which has closed down by the way I'm super disappointed about that and where I am um, for a little pick-me-up you know but I think if you brainstormed all those bad habits categorized them in certain in those five um, segments and then started looking at it like this is why I like writing stuff down because it like shows you so much more it shows you so many little different things that um, you may have not thought about that's actually happening to you and I want you to choose like at least two at least two bad habits that you um, picked up along the way with this whole COVID bullshit and choose the two that are like the lowest hanging fruit like so simple that you're like I can't believe I keep doing this something like I can't believe I used to go to the gym five days a week and now here I am doing nothing I haven't worked out for a year and a half almost two years something as simple as that where you try to implement some sort of activity again right I think for many people, if they do this exercise, they're going to realize like, wow, like I did not even think this was this bad, right? Maybe um, we make another category and throw in relationships. You know, has COVID thrown a wrench in you and your partner's relationship, you and your friends, you and your parents, you and your family in general, like make that another category, right? How we tie this in with fitness and health is that all those other factors, like I've just brought up relationships, financial, spiritual, um, now I'm drawing a blank, but all the other ones that are not, you know, a physical aesthetic look, um, all those other categories affect your health. Right, so when we can also pick up the slack and other, you know, things in our life, it's going to translate to how we look, how we feel, how we move. Right, like if your family life or your relationships are suffering a lot, that's going to probably take a lot of emotional toll and like headspace and energy for you to even comprehend the idea of like, oh fuck, I need to go to the gym today or I need to like go out for a run, or I need to do my home workout. Like you're gonna be literally exhausted from dealing with relationship shit to now like, oh, now I need to get into the mode of like, I'm gonna lift heavy shit. Probably not gonna happen. Struggling financially, probably not going to feel super motivated to do anything. Like I grew up super poor and the money was always an issue and it's hard to stay motivated when you're working your fucking face off and you're not making enough money to like really enjoy life you know like all these things influence our success at fitness and health so we also need to pay attention to those things too i just don't understand when people don't get that and they kind of just zero in like i need to eat I, what am I doing with my face? <laughs> I need to eat this way. I need to exercise every single day and that's all. But then there's all this other stuff behind you and around you that influences that, right? Like, I don't know, for me, like if my relationship with my wife was shit, like I'm probably not gonna have good workouts. My mind is gonna be elsewhere. You know, I might have a goal of like, I want to be able to deadlift 400 pounds, which is my goal, by the way. Um, I probably won't get there if I have that, you know, lingering in my head. Or the fact that 
fuck, I don't know, like, I lose my job, or, fuck, I don't know, I get hurt and I can't work and I lose my, like, there's so many things financially that could happen to me, and it's probably not going to motivate me. Like, say a huge expense, fucking my, my house burns down, and I the insurance that I got when I bought the place is not actually what I'm supposed to get, and now I don't have a house and I'm homeless and fuck, right? Like, that would influence a lot, you know? Um, these are the things that people don't think about when it comes to success. Like, you Google, like, how do I lose weight? How do I do this? It's like, eat these foods. Don't eat past 6 p.m. Only eat carbs in the beginning of your day because it's going to fuel X, Y, and Z and some other shit, but they don't ever encompass your whole body, your whole self. Like, there's so much to it. Did not think that I was going to go down this rabbit hole, but, you know, that's what habits are. Like, habits form who we are. And if we fall into those bad habits, then it's going to steer us in the opposite direction of where we want to go when it comes to our fitness and health goals. So do this little exercise. Literally write down um, all the bad habits that you picked up. See which ones are the lowest hanging fruit and work on them. Even if it's minimal effort. Like I've had struggling clients over the year and a half and getting them just like getting out of bed and just like go for a walk was tough but you know having a support system also helps right? this is why people hire coaches like the fact that i would just email and check in with people and be like hey what's going on like doing okay like fuck who cares you haven't worked out in six months like go outside like right now like i don't even fucking care like go outside and go for a walk like just something to build a new habit and form it so then we can build upon it, you know? So I really hope that this, because I'm going to keep this short. I don't want to go over um, past 15 minutes. So I really hope that this concept and idea and exercise works. Remember, habits are everything. Everything. So I really, really, really hope you take this episode to heart, do the work, and see if you can find one or two habits that are really low hanging fruit, like fucking going to sleep 10 minutes earlier, like something like that, and just go for it, run with it. So that's it for me, you guys. Thank you so much for listening or watching. Um, hit the show notes, add me on Facebook, add me on Instagram, I'll say hello, I'll tell you if you need help, I'm here. Um, subscribe to my YouTube channel, we're almost at 400, like, Come on, everyone, subscribe. Um, and also in the show notes, there's a link to subscribe, not subscribe, but sign up for a presale list for my book. So the moment that my book is up and running and able for purchase, you will get it first. Um, that's it from you guys. Thank you so much for the support. You're amazing. Till next time.